Hello everyone and welcome to Facts Base. Today, we're talking all about capybaras. If you can imagine a creature that looks like a fuzzy beaver hippo, then you have an idea of what a capybara is. Often considered to be a semi-aquatic, supersized guinea pig, these interesting animals are known as the biggest rodent in the world and have attributes that make them some of the most fascinating mammals around. Today, we'll be looking into everything there is to know about these unique critters. Perhaps the most interesting thing about the capybara is its unique physical appearance, primarily its massive size. These creatures are around 2 feet tall and 3 to 4 feet long, covered in shaggy fur and with eyes and ears that sit high up on its weirdly adorable face. They can weigh anywhere from 60 to over 170 pounds when fully grown, a vast difference from the world's smallest rodent, which weighs in at roughly 3 grams. When looking at the capybara head-on, it often looks like an animal that was created from a dozen other animals because of all the distinct physical characteristics it shares with a variety of creatures, like hippos, guinea pigs, and even cows. Affectionately termed a water pig, the capybara is an extra special type of rodent because it likes to go in water. In fact, their entire lives seem to revolve around water, from the plants they eat to using it as a way to soak their dry skin. Capybaras use watery locations like swamps, marshes, and rivers to drink from, travel, and seek refuge from predators, since they can swim underwater for roughly five minutes before coming up for air. Webbing between their toes assists them in maneuvering on water. However, they are only semi-aquatic. The capybara also makes a living on land. Capybaras survive strictly on vegetation of all sorts, such as fresh grass, squash, seeds, and melons. Despite being a part of the rodent family, Capas share traits with many animals when it comes to their habits, specifically when it comes to grazing. Like cows and goats, capybaras will grind grasses up and regurgitate them from their stomachs to continue eating them later. Another important part of their diet may seem a little strange, but capybaras also regularly eat their own feces to maintain a balance with the bacteria in their stomachs, which helps their digestive system to function at its best. Like guinea pigs and many other types of rodents, capybaras enjoy the company of others of their kind. In the wild, they run in packs that vary greatly in size from 10 to 100, living together as they navigate Central and South America. In captivity, capybaras are best kept in pairs or more to ensure they remain content and have the interactions that they need to thrive. For pet owners who are interested in raising them in residential settings, these animals require a lot of special care to ensure they're at their best and understanding that this big rodent enjoys company is just one important part of the caretaking for capybaras. Capybaras aren't just social with their own kind. These unique creatures, when kept in captivity, can make for amazing pets. Not only can they be hand-fed and interacted with frequently, similar to owning a cat or a dog, but they are also very intelligent. Capybaras can be taught more than just basic commands, and a prime example of this comes from a blind man who used a capybara as a service animal to assist him with his disability. Because these two-foot rodents are so smart, it's important to teach them good habits from the start to ensure that they are tamed and handleable, just like any other pet. These furry water pigs are quick to reproduce and are not listed as endangered. However, there are still some ways that their numbers dwindle in certain areas. A primary reason for any animal to lose mass amounts of its species is by being hunted by humans. In the case of the capybara, people seek them out for their fur and meat, for clothing and food. While these giant rodents may not seem as typical to hunt down as a deer, these practices date back centuries, when capybaras were even once determined to be a type of fish so that the Catholic Church could hunt and eat them during Lent. While capybaras are active throughout their homelands in America, they are also raised in residential homes as well as zoos and wildlife preserves. The San Diego Zoo in California has had great success in raising capybaras, with 13 babies being born since the original group was brought in in 2009. Showing off the intelligence and gentle nature of these animals, the zookeepers interact with them daily, and the capybaras have been trained to come to certain locations when called, sit still for observations, use a scale during checkups, and so on. Above all, though, these special creatures are always easy to handle when they're being offered a snack or a good belly rub. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.